strings. Strings are one of the most common data types in programming. It's basically just a sequence of text entered between two quotation marks. It's called a string because a sequence of text is considered a string of characters. So you interacted with strings in the first program you made in Python earlier in this course. Um, essentially, it's just... Basically, it's just a string of text placed between two quotation marks and that we managed to output to the console using the print function. So continue to play around with that if you want, if you need a reminder. We'll go back to that video. Now this basically, is, strings are very simple, but they're just a simple way of outputting text, but there are some ways of manipulating them and they do have their own operations. So string manipulations. So notable, some notable ways of uh, manipulating strings are, so one of the common most common string so one of the most common string manipulations you might use is string dot upper or str dot upper um, which is basically a function that converts all the characters in the string to uppercase so um, as well as string dot lower which does the same thing but converts them all to lowercase like shown here This is helpful for like if you had a program that wanted the user to enter a certain letter or you know just like a yes or no like Y or N and you didn't want to have to check for both capital and lowercase, you just convert it all to lower or uppercase and check it just the once. Um, another really common one is len brackets and then the string. Um, this just tells you how many characters are in the string, so the length of it. So if you did length len otter, you would get five as a result because there's five characters in the word otter. So yeah, there's a lot more string manipulations you can do. Um, if you want to find out more right now, feel free to just look them up in the Python docs. Um, but we'll cover them more when we get to them throughout uh, the course. Uh, But yeah, feel free to just play around with the ones we talked about here. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely need to cover more manipulations and stuff when we come to arrays because they're very important for that. And yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video.